lived as far as I got last year. And it still looks the same. Um, not bad. Uh, I am going to carry on from here because as I already know I've got a little bit of a walk still before I can get water. And I want to do that before 6. It's almost 3. And I guess I'm just showing you trees at this point. So let me show you my pack anyhow. And there we go. There's the pack. And my jacket's there. I'm debating on whether to put that bag on or not. And I'd say it's about 50-ish degrees. I didn't look anywhere, plus I don't have good service. I sent a message to Michelle on the GPS, on the uh, alarming device. But that's the only one. So, here's a conference builder. <laughs> oh, okay. I can see from here they cut it. So you don't have to walk under it. I thought you were going to have to walk under it. Alrighty. Still doing okay. And I'm walking. This is a nice flat section. So it's not as bad. Let me turn this off and put it away again. Air set up over there. Which is nice. I'm actually only about a half a mile from the parking lot on the uh, Appalachian Trail. But I made it that far. That's what I'm leaving out tonight. None of it should be attractive. Perhaps the Gatorade, but we'll see. And there's my bear hang, which isn't the best, but after an hour or so, what happened was I had it up there, and it slid down by the time I got it up. So, not exactly what I was going for, and it's too close to that tree. A bear could climb up that tree and grab it. But we'll see what happens. Um, it's a beautiful creek and stream, which is part of the reason I selected this site. Plus, it, it had already been camped at. Someone had a fire in here, I don't know, last, some time ago. So, it's not like I created it, which you're not supposed to do. And... The tent is over here. I'm trying to turn slowly, trying not to do that bad thing that people do. And here it is. Now the one on the tree is just to hold it up higher. Just like that one. It's got a little bridge there, and it makes the sleep things go up higher. They're optional. You don't have to use them, but it's nice. Because it gives you a little more room inside. And... That's the tent. Everything's set up, ready to go. I am going to sit back now and show my face for him. And then I'm going to call uh, my wife, assuming I have signal. If not, I'll give her a little signal on the GPS and we'll be all right. Uh, now I'm going to go sit in my beautiful... That's what that's for. I don't... I mean, I, I, I might get the chance to take a nap in it, but really what it's for is for sitting. It only weighs seven and a half ounces, which is half the weight of the chair, the lightest good chair. And I actually like it better because you can sit like a human. On those camp chairs, you're so low, you end up sitting with your knees, like up to pay your ears. Here's about the height I like to sit at. And you also have the option of taking a nap and reclining, which you don't have with those chairs. So, now I forgot to grab my jacket because I'm doing this. So, while I'm doing that, I would tell you, I had a pretty nice day. I'm disappointed with the low mileage again, but I am, you know, getting getting there. Hopefully, uh, I will uh, get better in the future. That's what we're out here for. Um, what am I thinking? I'm thinking I'm trying to put the coat on. Bear with me. Sorry about that. Ooh. 
Now bear with me, that's that's out here. <laughs> um but uh, uh, ooh, ooh, that was chilly. It's been hanging there for a while. Because it wasn't that cold before. I'd say it, I, I took off all my underlayers and stuff like that today. It got that warm. I'm guessing in the seventies. So um let me sit back down and I'll turn this off for the night. And uh, I was going for Stouffer Creek Shelter. Didn't quite make it. But I'm about a mile and a half away. Or a mile. A mile and a half. But this is a nice spot. And it's not crowded. Last night, that spot I was at was very crowded. And loud. People loud for quite a while. I know you're seeing everything else. I apologize. Um, and there were a lot of people. And it was loud. And, uh, it was hard to get to sleep. They were up talking and yelling and screaming. That last screaming. But they were kind of loud. Until, oh, 11 or 1. And I was trying to get a good night's sleep. I get up earlier. And I did get up at 7. And I didn't get out until, what was it? 10.30. Which is not acceptable. I have to get that down to an hour, hour and a half. But it's 15 minutes less than it was the day before which was 15 minutes less than it was the day before. So, unfortunately, that means I'm thinking 10.15 tomorrow, which is three hours, seven, eight, nine, ten, that's three hours. It's unacceptable. I have to get that down to an hour, an hour and a half. And I don't understand why, except I'm old and pokey. So, because eventually I want to get up at, you know, when the weather gets hot, I want to be up at five in the morning and hitting the trail by six and that way I can take a siesta by one. Anyhow, that's what's going through my head. Uh, bye -bye.